I'm biohacker health coach Joe Baines and I want to answer the question of what does the word oneness mean? Oneness. This is this is a you in a, it comes up a lot of it lot in uh, Eastern philosophies, uh, Buddhism about what this word is, but this word describes existence. What it means, there is only one. It means there is only one. One what? One God? One existence? Yes. Just so so the word God, so the word existence, the word self. They all point to the same thing. They're all talking about the same thing. Just three completely different words, three different angles, but they're talking about exactly the same thing. They're talking, all of them are talking about existence and also the word consciousness. Consciousness, existence, God, infinite source, higher self, uh, all of these, they're talking about exactly the same thing. Just different words, different angles, different perspectives on the one thing. And so we're back to uh, there is only one. Oneness means there is only one. And if you put the word God there, there is only one God. That means there's existence or there's you and then there's God. But if you say there is only one, it just means there is only one. That there's, there's no two, just one. And that one is consciousness. So consciousness is infinite. And so, the, so when I looked into this, um, I first looked at, Einstein's theory of relativity and Einstein's theory of relativity says that all physical matter, everything in the universe, physical, is made out of condensed energy, is compressed energy. And But if you look inside an atom, which is, you know, a, a individual piece of compressed energy, and it takes a lot of energy and a lot of pressure to create an atom. Atoms are, can only be created in the on the inside of um, of suns and stars, big stars, and um, the furnace that the pressures inside there, the heat in there, it can create atoms. So it'll create carbon atoms, and then it's only when the star explodes it creates like gold and silver because they are the heaviest elements, and so they need massive amounts of pressure. So what Einstein's theory telling us is that. Everything is energy. And then you would then if you look at quantum physics, quantum physics is looking at what is the energy made out of. And it comes up with that. It's made out of these particles. So energy is made out of particles like cord quarks and ups and downs and specials and all kinds of stuff. And but it stops there. And these particles that quantum physics is being able to detect and measure. Uh, they live in different dimensions. They do not just exist in our three dimensions here or, or the fourth dimension time. They exist in outside of these because they can hop in and out of time, hop in and out of space. And because they can do that, then what is, what is the underlying structure of that? And for that, I had to look at Eastern philosophies, philosophies like Kashmir Shaivism for the answer to that. And in Eastern philosophies, what it says, the underlying structure of all existence, the underlying infrastructure of everything is consciousness. And consciousness is pure, it's clean, uh, it's infinite, and it's unchanging. And it cannot be changed, it cannot be damaged, it cannot be altered in any way. It's always pure. It's basically existence is a vast, infinite, ocean of consciousness, which is endless, uh, which does not exist in time or space. It exists outside of time and space. In fact, time and space are artificial constructs within consciousness. Uh, what are we in this, in this infinite ocean of consciousness? The universe is vibrations. They're vibrations inside of this infinite, um, infinite consciousness or ocean of consciousness. And what are we? We are vibrations inside of the vibrations, i.e. the universe. The universe is a series of vibrations and we are a vibration, one of those vibrations inside the universe. So that's all we are. Another way to look at it is we are basically, we are a dream that God is having or existence is having. So existence is alive, existence is self-aware, consciousness. 
Uh, and so all, all of existence is self-aware, is alive, and it's conscious, which is crazy, right? Um, and what this existence has a desire for, it desires to experience another. It wants to experience something else other than itself. But there is no, there is only one existence. Uh, there is only one. There is no, no other. So what, so what it does to, ex, to experience another, it fragments itself. It creates the illusion of fragmentation. It creates the illusion of an infinite number of fragments that forget uh, who they are. And those fragments then now, so what we are is, is the infinite universe, is consciousness, is existence. What I am here is existence experiencing itself through me. It's like a, another way to look at it would be like a, it's a song. It's like this existence exists. It can do nothing else apart from just exist. It just, it, it just be, and it, it has always existed, and it will always exist. And, it, and, it, and so what it does to while away the time, because that's all it can do is it's just exist. It cannot not exist. It cannot disappear. It cannot not exist at all. And so what this existence is doing is it's playing music. It's playing an orchestra. And that, who is it playing the orchestra for? It's playing it for itself. So existence is amusing itself by playing this, this music, this dance. So what we are, what this universe is a song and a dance that, go, that has always, and it will always sing and dance all of eternity. And who is it doing it for? It's just for itself, just for its own amusement, just to while away time. Well, time doesn't exist. So if so, existence will always play this, this song and dance, and it, and it creates an infinite number of universes. So it, so it creates an infinite number of songs and dances. And so the beginning of a Big Bang is the start of the song and the dance, and, the, and at the end, it, the song and the dance finishes. And then it creates another one, and another one, and another one. And it will just keep doing that for infinity. Because what else is it going to do? It can't, you know, do anything else. There's nothing else. Um, it, it has to while away the time in some way, do you know? I, I know time doesn't exist. So it's quite a burden for existence that it has, it just exists. And so we're here just to experience life. We're here to experience existence.